When you log into Procore, you can immediately see your portfolio of projects through a company level view. For a project manager or superintendent, these are the projects that they might be personally responsible for. Let's focus on the Vortex Business Center project where a three-story office building is being built in Flagstaff, Arizona. So from the project level dashboard, you can immediately see the health of the project. On this dashboard, the two most important parts I'll cover are the project overview and today's schedule. The project overview is really your one-stop shop for seeing what items to prioritize. You can see anything from overdue RFIs and submittals to punch list items or coordination issues. This looks like there's a few overdue RFIs that need to be taken care of. And so from here, it's easy to drill into those items and take action. You can see any open items in progress. And today's schedule showing who's on site and what they're doing. It looks like there's some carpentry and masonry work being completed today. In the next couple of weeks, there's going to be plumbing, electrical, and mechanical crews working on top of each other. So if you want to start planning, you can find more detail in the schedule tool where these items are pulling from. In the schedule tool, you could upload your master project schedule from systems like Microsoft Project or Oracle Primavera. For general contractors who need to coordinate with their trade partners on the schedule, uh, uploading the schedule file into Procore allows you to visualize and collaborate in one single system. Many contractors will use a PDF export sent via email, but that's not always easy for trade partners to get a quick understanding of what needs to be accomplished within a specific time frame. Today, we recommend schedules are created and edited in your company's native scheduling software. But using Procore Drive with Windows, any changes made in that scheduling software will automatically sync into Procore. From the Gantt view, you can configure to see the critical path, dependencies, and com percent complete. On this project, the schedule is resource loaded with 17 different specialty contractors. That would normally require a lot of legwork, phone calls, and emails to get aligned across the project team. But with Procore's unlimited user model, trade partners can be invited to collaborate in your Procore account with no extra fees. Pops Electrical can come in, filter the schedule to see the tasks relevant to them, and understand their work as it relates to dependencies or the critical path. For superintendents who are regularly meeting with trade partners to build out a more granular level of task execution, the new look aheads feature is a simple and intuitive way to facilitate the conversation. Just create a new look ahead, select the start date and duration, and Procore will pull tasks and milestones from your master schedule that fall within the time frame of that look ahead. Similar to the Gantt view, you have configurations and filters that make this information easily digestible but there's also an opportunity for trades to have input on the schedule. Maybe in your weekly scheduling meeting, it comes up that there's potential overlap between Pops Electric installing area transformers and comfortable HVAC installing duct. It wasn't mentioned in the master schedule, but the general foreman from Pops Electric clarified that the transformer is actually permitted to be installed above the drop ceiling. So we're gonna push back comfortable HVAC a couple days. And then add that additional detail from Pops Electric in the look aheads. Instead of whiteboard sessions, Excel, or phone calls, everybody with access to your Procore account can see these lookaheads or have them auto-distributed to their inbox every week. If any changes are made, you could also compare your lookahead with the master schedule to understand any discrepancies or schedule impacts. 
Now that we've gotten everybody on the same page with what needs to be done, superintendents can go out in the field and actually track progress from a mobile device. Daily logs are where you can keep track of who showed, what work was completed, and any other critical events that happen on the job site. It can be time consuming to fill out daily logs, so this tool was designed to keep it as simple and easy as possible for field teams. Weather logs will automatically populate. Here's a delivery for the tile contractor from this morning. And you can also see where our schedule pre-populated the daily log, making it easy to record the work from the carpentry and masonry contractors that were on site. Even if you're not connected to the internet, these can still be filled out in offline mode and will automatically submit when you're reconnected to a network. The calendar view is a great way to see which days have pending or completed and approved logs. So you could always look back and have that record of knowing exactly what happened on any given day. If you're doing similar work from the day before, you could easily copy over the previous day's logs to eliminate the burden on field teams to have to re-enter that data. All the fields in the daily log are also reportable. So if you need to know the number of manpower hours used in the past weeks, or the amount of time wasted due to project delays, uh, the daily log will allow you to quickly gather this information or reports for progress meetings, look aheads, or even use on future projects. 